Right now, man, now there's a freaking tornado watch, dude. I told you earlier hey. today we're gonna go. Uh, we had uh, yeah, it's gonna be coming. a sprinkle, dude. South Florida, come on, it's gonna no. be a little sprinkle. Good morning, everybody. We're coming to you live from inside the main build facility here at Bubba's Exotic Motorsports. I'm Tom. The ladies' man's right there on the floor, and we all know the master Bubba. Good morning, Bubba. How hey, you man. doing? I've got it going on. Is there a beetle on the floor? A little beetle. Look at that guy. Okay. All right, I'm they doing really good so far. Hey, do. let me tell you, dude, this has been a morning already. We have been full tilt. We had the guys come in that are picking up one of our major league players' rides that we have been building for, I'd say, what, nine, ten months Nine now? months. It's been nine months. So, yeah. huge build, crazy insane. Everybody has been hands on deck. I think, isn't it AHOD, right? Around the, around the clock. Isn't that what it's considered? AHOD in like exactly military right, bases, yeah, right? Exactly. So, let me tell you. All hands, hands on deck. deck. Right. That, that's what I was getting at. You were, I feel like that's you were right. delayed on that one. This thing is looking like a freaking animal, dude. I am literally down to final wiping this thing down, making sure these guys are ready to safely cruise all the way down to Arizona. Heading down to Arizona. That's it. Everybody, this episode is brought to you by Bubba's Exotic Motorsports. That's Bubba's Exotic Motorsports.com. Miss Outlaw Boutique. If you haven't seen the clothing line, you're missing it, ladies. Get there. 561 660 6695. Monkey in Paradise, Bub. What's your paradise, man? Dude, it's, I'll tell you, it's right here. BM, Tony Rienzi. Geo Hammerbeck, Monkey in Paradise. What else? The whole night out at Boutique. We'll be down. That's the paradise. We'll be down at Boynton Beach tonight uh, with the Monkey in Paradise crew for a VIP release. That's right. Of the new restaurant that Frank's opening down there. Yep. Oh, yep. Big thing. Really good, man. Finest Italian authentic dishes in South Florida. That's right. I'm ready. I know oh, Layla's ready for sure. There's oh. going to be freaking whatever that pasta stuff is. She we're not. We're place. not skipping the gym though. TonyRienzi.com, the exotic car guru. And celebrity to the star. I mean, he's got all those cars, doesn't he, Bob? Every one of them. Every one of them's out there. Good morning to Sean. Out at DNA Surface Concepts. We're gonna be seeing a lot from Sean. He'll be joining us live over the next couple of weeks. He's gonna bring, he's gonna put the light on all of the ceramics Dude. and really bring out the truth. Mr. Producer, you. did you have a question, sir, already? Alex says good morning from NASA. Alex, what? good morning. We're just getting ready. Alex is up in Cape Canaveral, Bob, with the F-104 group, the Starfighters. And he would like us to say good morning to all the Starfighters up at Cape Canaveral. They're flying the old F-104s up there. This so is knowing what Alex is doing, that means that's the first bottle of double gold award-winning Monkey in Paradise going to Mars. Actually, we've got it. We've got it. And Alex, it'll be I get somewhere on the Apollo 15 or whatever we're at, 46. It'll, I don't know where we are. It'll be at 71. That's it. How many times have we flown to Mars already? I've been there twice. I've been there a couple times. I never left the couch. Rolly out there at Unity. Good morning. And he'll be here today for the big rally drift meeting yep. uh, uh, for the uh, Bubba's Exotic Motorsports uh, rally car uh, headed by the uh, world champion, Mr. Gio Hammerbeck, who's going to join us live here and just talk a about balls. Dude. That's right. That's exactly That's a right. sport of full on adrenaline. Crazy. Going for Crazy. it wide open throttle. I've been doing a lot of research, a lot of behind the scenes on that stuff. Holy crap. It's crazy. If you guys don't know what we're talking about, go out and look at any sort of rally car racing through logging roads. That is full on adrenaline. One wrong mistake could be it. I could drive that all day long, no ladies way. and gentlemen. You wouldn't, literally, you drop the clutch in first, somehow 90 it right into the ditch. Literally, at in the start reverse line, of that? It'd be like three seconds total. Done. That would be you. I started and finished the race in record time. I got to and across the finish line without ever going very far. Right? How about that? Yeah. Good morning to the owner of this vehicle. I cannot release his identity for privacy reasons. We are not allowed to do that. Uh, he is a Major League Baseball player. Uh, I'm not allowed to do that. Good morning to his agent, Jim, as well. This truck is heading down to Arizona. They're driving yep. it because it's so big, it will not fit on the standard this car. This an there. animal, dude. It's an animal. This is, yep. I mean, I don't know what you would consider this truck because the way we designed it, the way we put the whole thing together was like a, it was a combination of like assault vehicle with a pre-runner style, which is like desert rally trucks, the way that they run out there. I'm sure Gio is probably wanting to take this thing through the dunes. We're gonna talk to Gio about that, who's so, offset in just a minute. It's This is a combination of like bad, aggressive street setup versus like pre-runner desert with rally style setups in the rear with the fifth wheel, 45 in the bed, the roll cage. Everything in this thing, man, it's absolutely insane the way that the style of this truck came together. 
It's Kevlar coated in a matte black with all satin and gloss, satin and gloss accenting everywhere. This thing is a beast, dude. And as always the case, ladies and gentlemen, Rigid Lighting, who is your rigid, your sponsor, your lighting sponsor, yep. they're getting ready to set up the Rigid Lighting Jeep. We're going to be building that. We'll be coming to you with more information on that. But Rigid Lighting came through literally at the 11th hour, bub. They were they were undergoing tornadoes and a loss of Wi-Fi service trying to get this order out and shipped to you. us. It went, they worked through the night to get it to us. That was literally like a scary movie. It was Seeing a scary message. Yeah. come back from Max over yeah. at Rigid. Yeah. And he is on point. Every time we yeah, need he something, he makes it happen. Whether, especially like when it came to this, this, everything on this truck is their midnight series. So it's blacked out. If you look at the housings on them, they're all black. Everything in these things is dark. It's a very aggressive finish where their traditional rigid lighting is like a chrome or a mirror style housing internally. Even though it's a black external bracketry and assembly on it, they were all chrome internal housings. It would have been too much. It would have been too shiny, too in your face on this blacked out truck. There's two colors on this thing. It's either matte or it's gloss. And but that's the way you build. You're very product savvy. Savvy. You know how things are done today. And you knew that, I didn't know that there was a difference between the chrome mm -hmm. and the black series. Mm -hmm. And it's something you knew. But you took this 2013 uh, F-150 and completely transformed it. Yeah. The car was completely, this vehicle was completely taken apart all yep. the way down to the ground. The motor and trans were left in this vehicle. Literally, that was it. It's like body from chassis. It was just the way Ford would have sent it down the assembly line in terms of you know stripping this thing down. To get this coating on here, you have to literally go all the way down to bare metal, hit it with a 40 or an 80 grit sandpaper. That is the most aggressive paper you can buy on the market. You can go to a 24, but that's pretty unnecessary. Um, but between a 40 and an 80 grit, it literally leaves gouging like someone took a knife and went through the paint. That's how deep you cut when you use that kind of paper in order for this three coat system to literally bite onto the metal. So it's to do what it can actually do. It's, it's you know, advertised to be impervious and you can literally hit this stuff with a hammer without it flaking. That's exactly what it can do as long as you prep the surface properly. And that's what we had to do. In fact, Bub, you took all of the interior out of this everything. vehicle. Our great, our upholstery, yeah, our manager, the our doors, shop foreman did it. Seats, yeah. carpet, everything came panels, out of this vehicle. The doors were off, the hood was off, the front was off. Yeah. All of the front end was off the truck. The rear was off. Everything had to come off to do it right. So every jam, every little crack, crevice, everything you look into that was originally a metallic coated paint job no from sign Ford's it. assembly line, there's no sign of it anymore. It's either in Kevlar coated or like in all of the door jams under the hood is a satin black finish. The only reason we opted to go that way is so that it's a smooth finish when the weather strip, the rubber weather strip, again, functionality, has to be fully functional. So when you close the doors, if you were to close it on something like this, it's very pebbly and very grainy and very rough, you're probably not going to get 100% seal with the way the smooth weather strip is going to sit against that Kevlar texture. That's finish. why you went with a flat. So now everything in the door jams is a very base coat, satin with a matte clear finish on it so that it's still a perfect seal when those two pieces meet because they're flat on flat. So, Bob, uh, the other thing that's very interesting about this truck is not only the wheel and tire combination you use, and uh, it's so purpose-built. We didn't know that it was not going to make it to, on a transport yeah. and that the owner's agent sent up uh, a, uh, a two drivers from the Tennessee, Tennessee or Arizona area? From the Tennessee area, uh, which is where this uh, player's home is, mm -hmm. uh, the truck's going to drive back to that area. But it's so well purpose built that you use a Niddle Grappler G2 series yep. so that the tires were quiet for the play, for the player, right? Yep. And it winds up that now this thing's gonna make a fifteen hundred mile trip home. Perfect. And it's gonna be silent. It'll be perfectly smooth, you know, and that's what we love. You know, a lot of people ask us, they come in here, they want Toyo tires. Nothing wrong with them. I've built a lot with Toyos. A lot of the players love Toyos. They have a really aggressive look to them. However, to me, my personal opinion, my professional opinion, they're a very soft tire. They're a soft compound. They wear down very aggressive. So especially if you're doing a lot of highway driving, these guys typically are because you never know when they're going to get transferred right. from team to team, That's signed right. over to a different team, moving around state to state. Um, and, you know, the guys use these trucks. They don't just build them and park them pretty. So when you're using these things, you want to make sure you've got something that not only functions, it looks good, gives you everything you want, but is totally smooth, man. The, if this truck is going to be now driving, all the way across the United States, essentially, to the west coast, to Arizona, you're going to want to make sure it's a smooth, comfortable ride. You couldn't do that with the last set of tires that was No, you definitely the couldn't. The steering wheel shake everywhere. I just, sent, real knobby and, yeah. I just sent the player's agent a, cop, a picture of those wheels and tires over, mm -hmm. and, I said, and he's thinking about potentially using those on his vehicle. Mm -hmm. And my first response was, don't use these tires. It's rough, it's man. Yeah, it's going to be rough. You know, and, and tires, they take shape, you know, especially with that set that was previously on here. Um, they take serious shape once they start cupping or they get a bad wear on them. And a lot of guys don't know how to properly set tire pressures. We've talked about that many times before. 
where these bigger tires like this, these oversized tires with a load range D or an E, they're meant for 60 or 85 plus pounds of air pressure and these things cold. That's a lot of air pressure compared to the factory door jam, the tire placard that says 35 on a set of BF Goodriches. Sure. So totally different. You can't run big tires like this at 30 pounds and expect them to last a long time. They're going to heat up. They're going to start wearing down really bad. And that's what happened with the previous set that was on this vehicle. Yeah, it definitely needs tires. And it, they, there's no mileage on this truck. There's 9,000 miles on it. That's correct. Big thanks to your electrical sponsor, Dennis, over at Payless course, Performance, dude. man. I've been you guys walk, walked install. around the night. That's you walked to get these in because yep. uh, you know of the problems that was coming out. Not Ridge's problems, but the transport problems. But let's take a look at this front end a little yeah, bit. Man. It's absolutely stunning, ladies and gentlemen. This is the front of the player's F-150. You can see the detail and the beauty that went into this. Each one of the fasteners around the wheel uh, arches is uh, indexed to a north-south location. The way Bob builds, it's absolutely perfection custom grill custom front bumper push bar on this thing there's a 20 is 20 inch uh, yeah you've, you're working with from rigid industries this is all their midnight series lighting this is the newest of new it's the best of the best everything on this truck is just released to SEMA in November of 16 this year and so we had to products, get it on this player's truck these products are literally probably gonna be some of the first things hitting the streets yes. the RK Sport hood the barricade grill assembly, the Fab Four's Vengeance series bumpers, all of these items were literally built for this truck. These were not off the shelf sitting in no. boxes, have them here because it's from a 2008 to 2015 Ford F-150. And people don't understand, it takes right. time when you're doing very custom design work like this. Oh, big it's time. Not, you can't snap your fingers yeah. and just be done. Yeah, so what you're, you're not looking hanging at, parts. what you're looking at is the Midnight Series, 20 inch Rigid Industries light bar in the front bumper assembly. You've got a set of their cube lights, what they call them. A lot of guys call them cube lights or two by twos or D-Series is a professional name form from Rigid. Two in each corner. The way we've got these things hooked up is hooked up like this. Very simple, very clean for the client. You wanna make things functional. Again, a key word is functional. The factory location fog lights were sitting right here. The two by two cubes are hooked up as low beam combination fog lights. So this operates truly off of the headlight switch, exactly like factory would. So the owner of this truck has no problems getting in. He doesn't have seven toggle switches. He has to try to remember what. And that's what everybody to. does. Puts you twenty switches line of toggles. Stop. You have no Stop. idea. Stop. So these are operated off of the factory fog light circuitry with the upgraded relay, so they can handle the wattage that these need. And it's all through the factory switches. Real clean, real simple. The bumper light, the twenty inch here, and also the fifty four inch RDS that are mounted up top are running to one off of twin relays, the way Rigid sent us their factory harnessing. They're running into one switch, so they both activate the exact same time, because truly you're not supposed to run with those lights on on the street. They're meant for off-road use only. They're very bright. They do blind people on the other side of the road. These are good for visibility up to a mile. That is a really long freaking distance to see someone's light. Imagine that 50 feet away, you're not gonna be able to see. And at nighttime, it's a super dangerous situation. And we're gonna demonstrate that to you. Rigid does put in their paperwork, read the instructions. They are not responsible. Be smart about what you're doing. Just like Monkey in Paradise says, drink responsibly. Rigid says, follow the rules. Ladies and gentlemen, these lights are extremely bright. If you stand out in the sunlight and turn them on, they will blind you. Our they producer are. just got lit up with them and he's now saying it's hard for him to see. So it's very hard. These, these Rigid puts forth a very high-end product. But one of the things you did is you smoked out some lights behind this yeah. grill as well uh, to kind of give it a very big rig look there uh, as, as well and put a nice grill blacked out grill here in the, in the hood scoop. Yeah, so everything that you're seeing on the front of this truck is very deep, it's very dark, it's very aggressive. We wanted the thing to just be, the client himself actually wanted two colors, that's it. It's either gonna be a matte finish or it's going to be a satin slash gloss finish and that's exactly what we've given him all the way across the board. So in terms of like factory headlights, these are the original 2013 F-150 headlights, although they look very highly modified. They're nothing more than the way that we tent lights is we actually use clear coat, the same thing that you clear a vehicle with, and you can literally drip a couple drops of black paint in it, straight gloss black paint, until you get that shade or that tint that you want, and you can mix it up in your mixer, and then you can literally lay them on in coats of clear, like you would clear a car, one, two, three, four coats, however many you want. And then when you're done, you can lock that down with a final coat of straight clear, not clear with tint, and then it allows you to wet sand and buff it for a mirror light finish, total functionality when it's done. And that's what we've done with these lights here. So smoke finish here, smoke finish in the three running lights in the barricade grill, Really cool look, definitely looks like the F-150 Raptor series trucks when it's coming up in your mirror. We've been asked if this is a Raptor. Everyone's asking, is it a Raptor? No, it's not a Raptor. This is just a seriously aggressive F-150. Raptors are great, totally different animal, totally different. More of kind of like a rally truck, the way they're set up, the supercharged system. This is really just an off-road beast. This is just a freaking beast, totally different. Two different animals, really fun, both of them. But it looks really good, man. We've got the satin black grill on it. 
full satin black Kevlar coated fit finish all the way across the truck, the satin black inserts, and then we've got all of our gloss accenting all the way down the side. So the factory emblems where they surround F-150, the door handle inserts, and all of this can be seen at our Instagram at instagram.com forward slash Bubba's Exotic Motorsports. You'll see all the sneak peeks of this shot that we've been doing over the past couple months, which I've really zoomed in because we weren't going to give away what it was we were working with. Yes. But you see all those details, the key details, even where the number pad is to get in for the keyless entry on the side where you've got one, two, three, four, all the way down the driver's side door handle. All of that is even masked shot with a gloss coat finish above it. It looks great. So, Bub, let's get a demonstration of it. Uh, Mike, uh, who is one of our techs here at Bub's Exotic Motorsports, he's is actually probably in the cabin of the vehicle. Out inside he's probably he's drinking a beer, yes, <clears throat> for sure. <throat> yeah, are you having a beer? Pat, go, ahead, ribbon, right? go ahead and give us just running lights. Just get, do running lights. So, ladies and gentlemen, here are the running lights here. You can see, even though these were smoked out and you could not see the lights uh, without them being on, they're very vibrant and uh, visible at this time. You can also see the cube lights are on down here. That's a very bright look. I know coming into the camera, that's a very bright look. In fact, you can see against the Woodward fabrication wall. Oh, it's, bright. it's, it's brighter than our shops, our lights in the shop. It literally, exactly. these two are brightening up the wall in front of us brighter than every other light combined. That's correct. Yeah. Mike, let's go ahead and throw the two bars on. Ladies and gentlemen, this is where it gets very, very bright. And this is what you get from Rigid Industries. Um, it is an extremely aggressive look. It's very, very vibrant. And this is why you cannot run these lights on the street. Uh, Greg, could you please uh, th turn off the headlight or the lights and we're gonna look at how bright this, this facility is. This is now just off the Rigid Industries uh, light bars that Bub has installed on this player's vehicle. That's how bright these things are. That's how dangerous these can be on, in an on-road environment. And that's why you cannot use these on the street. Very bright, insanely bright. Literally, I mean, look at that side. I feel like working over there right now because it's so bright. It's so bright yeah. I would have no problem working on that side of the facility right That's now. <laughs> Above in the back, you also have these same four cube do, yeah. lights so that every time it goes into reverse. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Mike. Uh, every time the vehicle is put in reverse, you've got the same amount of illumination behind it as yeah. well. Yeah, so, and again, that's we wanted to make sure that it was very easily installed, that when the client goes out, he just gets in this truck and drives it like what he knows. Literally only aftermarket item, as aggressive and modified as this vehicle is, this is modified as far as it can go, as aggressive it is, as it is, there's only one aftermarket toggle switch in this entire truck, and that's just for these two lights, powered by a red toggle, so you know that really you shouldn't have the thing on when you're driving. Can you use it? 100%, no problem with it, especially when you're out there and you're considerate to other drivers. If there's no one coming, turn those freaking things on and light Let up the road. Absolutely. You never know, maybe there's a guy that's got no headlights on and you just can't see him. Maybe he can't see you, so you wanna make sure he can see you. And what people can't see, Bob, is the way you wired this vehicle. Everything is drilled and grommeted properly. Mm -hmm. you, your wiring is all in looms. It is hand wrapped, it is soldered, it is heat shrunk. Your relays are mounted beautifully against the firewall. It's just a beautiful, beautiful job. It's another great build. Congratulations, Bob. Thank you. it out of the park again. Thank you. Uh, you and this team did an amazing job. Uh, I, I, I'm going to have to ask if Sean over at DNA uh, Surface Concepts, we were talking in a meeting yesterday behind closed doors about how the products that they have, ceramic products, period, can be used on any surface. I wonder what he'd do with something like this. Oh, it'd be incredible, dude. And now we're getting to a point where you have to think. There was a day where it was like ceramic coat, it started small, it started with 1H, 2H, 3H, 4 It started low as, it, as again, with today's technology, things keep evolving by the day. Literally, if you are not up to date, you are already behind. It's just that simple. People don't understand that he Now is. he's getting into carbon ceramic coatings. Do you know the strength of carbon fiber? Carbon coatings are insanity, and I literally don't have the correct verbiage, and I'm not gonna make myself look like a fool because I don't know. We're gonna, I think we'll do a little one-on-one -on -one with Sean. We are, he's gonna actually see, join us live in the studio next Saturday. Let's put some true product in front of us, not just words or on a sheet of paper. We're gonna see what these coatings can do, man. I'm ready for it. It's crazy. So, and, and he's very well respected throughout the United States. Oh, huge. Has, talk to people. His new facility, he just did. Unbelievable. Dude. Our producer has a question. Yes, sir. Gloss floors. We actually have Sean chiming in. He thinks the truck is nasty, and he says he would do it all. Good morning, Sean, and thank you. That's Sean from DNA Surface Concepts. Uh, he is the master, he's the guru. Yep. guru. He is uh, well respected throughout the United States yep. and the industry uh, for his product knowledge and what he brings to the table. Uh, and this is just, this is a passion for him. Yep. This isn't just ceramics on a car or a boat. And we're gonna get into that a lot with him. He's gonna mm -hmm. teach us. And thank you, Sean, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, even though I've gotta jump in and say one more thing though, even though Sean's working with the best stuff available, by Ceramic Pro, the carbon coatings themselves, not gonna help you out in a boat situation. 
still probably going to I can sink anything. Mr. Producer, sure. go ahead. I can sink anything. Well, you're probably going to want some type of coating because as Michael McCloskey is pointing out, this truck will attract many bugs with all the lights on. <laughs> good morning, Mike. I had a very special, uh, I wanted to close That's up very special. That's a really good point right there because there's a lot of lights that's going to draw a lot of bugs. Yes, there are. There. I know that little that little light I got outside of my house, the one I screw in, draws a lot of freaking bugs. You got there and I bugs, screw it in? No, I just go out. Never mind. Never mind. No. Ladies and gentlemen, we are joined today by the Rally World Champion, Mr. Gio Hammerbeck. He is live on the set with us. We have a series of uh, afternoon meetings before we leave today to go to the Monkey in Paradise VIP Grand Opening this afternoon. And Gio is here with his father, who's been his crew chief all his life, father and son team, just like you and I are. Uh, and he's gonna spend some time on the set with us. And we're gonna talk a little bit about the Bubba's Exotic Motorsports Rally and Drift Team. Gio, please join us on the set. Ladies and gentlemen, the world champion, Gio Hammerback. Gio, how you doing? How was it? Excited to What's see you. What's up, Gio? Hey. Looking good, bro. How you doing? Good. Thanks for having me on the show. Hey, nice. Gio, how, what do you think of this truck, man? What do you think of this client's truck? Let's go try it out. <laughs> <laughs> You'll drive anything, though, won't you? Yeah, man? we'll get out to the proving grounds and see what it's all about. See what it's about. What do you yeah. think? It's a beast, isn't it, man? Oh, this thing's awesome. It's you guys cool. did a great job. Thank, Thank you, man. It's it's unbelievable the detail that Bub puts into these hey, things, you know, like with everything he It builds. is, it is. It's, uh, it's absolutely crazy. Let's talk a little bit today. We've got a very aggressive schedule here at Bubba's Exotic Motorsports because we have sponsor meetings. We have a call with uh, Roly from uh, Unity, who's going to be putting the yep. suspension on the Bubba's Exotic Motorsports car. I understand he's going to be spending time in the seat with you as well as Bub because he's a former rally car driver himself, an M3 BMW. Yep, yep, and he come, has a WRC background. That's the World Rally Championship. That's pretty big. Wow. Pretty He's, insane, right? Yeah. I mean, WRC, World Rally that's Championship no is... That's no joke. That's running wide open. This isn't... I mean, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of guys out there that are freaking... They love NASCAR. They love all this stuff. Super fun. Really adrenaline packed doing that kind of stuff at 200 miles an hour. Fun today, stuff, bro. man. But <laughs> this is another game, dude. Yeah. This is like... This is running wide open. Throttle. This is hammer. like, what was the stuff that they did overseas somewhere? I don't know which place it was from. Where's the guy that did, did the rugby thing where you can just pound somebody's face in if you felt like it? That's called rugby. Just is that what it was? Face in. Yeah. Well, I don't know if those are the rules to the game, but that's how I would roll. That's how I, I feel do. like that's what it, I see when I watch it. That's kind of like what this is like. This isn't like football where you're throwing a ball back and forth. You just straight take someone out. That's exactly what That's kind of like this. And it's interesting because Rolly's coming to us not only as a sponsor, but they're looking to start doing some, they're going to bring R&D stuff to yes, us. Yes, they are. Correct? Yep. Um, and not only that, there was a series of like 20 emails that went back and forth last week. It's really exciting because technically he's very precise like you and Bub are as well. Yep. Um, and there's going to be neat stuff. You guys are going to have computers hooked up in the car and yep. all of that stuff, man. Yeah, it's exciting. Very it, exciting. It really is. We're going to be setting up the Bubba's Exotic Motorsports race spot here in the facility. It'll be mm -hmm. right here off the film stage floor, mm -hmm. and that's where the rally car is going to be built. I know you've got jacks you're building right now and everything for it as well. Yep. Tell us a little bit about those things that you're getting ready to put together. How are we proceeding from here? Well, we'll get through our meetings today, um, and then we'll start talking about our setup areas, uh, whose job titles are going to have what for doing what. I'm, I'm head wrecker. There you go. We, got we need to get to you your own car, I swear. Actually, actually I, did, I did give you the new team car. I went and bought you a car. Come did on, really? be safe in it. Yep. Guys, bring it on out. Come on, let's Come see on. this thing. Oh, Lord. I got Here we you. Go. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you guys have going right now? Gio? I got him something today. Oh no! This is gonna—he'll be all right. Don't worry. It's a—it's a GTS Viper. No. Yes, it is. I, ladies and gentlemen, I just come on. There it Look is. at this. There you go, Tom. Wow. He'll do just right on that. And it's a good performance car. We'll have to do some suspension updates. Um, I'm sure the passenger can vouch because it looks like it scared the crap out of them. Oh, so. God, that's hilarious, wow. man. Um, How about that? Ladies and gentlemen, I've just been awarded my own rally car, and certainly I can't do too much damage to this. Stay tuned. I'll bet we're going to see some damage come to you. How much horsepower does this have? I don't, we didn't dyno it yet, so we'll, we'll have to get it on the dyno. Probably more than kind of five or ten, you'd say? Uh, I'm sure it rips pretty good. Definitely too much for him. Ladies and gentlemen, I have to thank Way you. Too much. Uh, for uh, my own rally car here, I can't, I, I don't know how long it's going to last, but uh, I have to thank him all the same. We're going to have Monkey in Paradise oh uh, as a sponsor, Payless Performance, yep. Rigid Lighting, Bubba's Exotic Motorsports, Unity with Rolly's going to be in there. Yep. I mean, we're going to have Cars and Coffee at Palm Beach. I mean, all of the big guys are there. It's all exciting. It's all exciting. 
man, it's going to be huge. And this is a very, very, it gives me chills. It's a very exciting time. It's a big step forward. I know you wanted to get back in the seat where you belong. Yep. Uh, and in a week, we've come a very, very long way in a very short period of time. Yes, know? we have. It, uh, it's very, very exciting. So we'll be in meetings all day long this afternoon. The next couple of weeks will be very exciting. It's going to be intense, isn't it? Yes, it it's is. It's going to be intense. June 27th, I think, or June 25th, we're at Palm Beach International. 25th. 25th. Yep. At Palm Beach International Raceway. Tell everybody how they can come see us and what we're going to be doing down there. Well, that's uh, the monkey sponsored event. Um, I know they're asking for a one time donation of 150. 150. Yep, yep. So um, please feel free to come out and see kind of what goes on on the track. Um, we'll put you in a car and get you some laps and see how you like it. Now, is that going to be Geo? Because I, I wasn't. I didn't attend last year's event. I know this is an annual thing that they do. Mm -hmm. They do a charity event every year. Uh, Monkey in Paradise does, that's who we're referring to. I know when they did it last time, are you using track cars or are you, you using the person's car, whoever's coming? Personal vehicles. Okay. Yep. Okay. Will so. the Bubba's Exotic Motorsports uh, M3 make an appearance? Hopefully. Okay. Good. All right, so guys, can we get the tire pressure set on this? Make sure it's topped up with fluids. That'll be your ride. <laughs> <laughs> Rigid, please hook me up over there. Max, please take care of this. Oh my I hope God, no tornadoes come. On we'll fix it. It. Let's get it stickered up. It's a sponsored car. Our producer has a question. Go ahead, Mr. Producer. Uh, we have some beautiful Robin chiming in. She would like to see Tom get in the car. And uh, she thinks D is the one we need to worry about wrecking that car. Well, it looks like Diesel's getting ready to get in the car, uh, but uh, my beautiful bride would like to see me get hey, in the car. Quit. Babe, I'll do that for you a little bit later on. I promise. Um, D does not like remote control cars. I don't know why. He hates them. Look at this. He just like struts around the thing like it's. Hey, what happens if I get in the car? Oh no, he's gonna go Hold crazy. The... What happens if I get in the? Wait, do the doors right? open? Yes, they do. Come oh, on, okay. fully functional. What happens if I get in here, D? There we go. What happens if I get in there? See, he gets fired okay? up. He does not like. Them. He just wants to go for a ride. You wanna go with this, huh? What? I mean, I don't know what it is. He hates these. How about that? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, the little man does not like radio control vehicles or other vehicles like that. Gio, we're going to jump out of this thing. We appreciate you getting here. We've got a long afternoon together. Yes, we do. With your father, who's been your crew chief and your support mechanism for so many years, man. Um, and your guiding light in your ears there and everything like that. We're going to jump into these meetings and just have a great afternoon today. Yeah, we're going to have fun. It's It'll be, be a good, good meeting. Ladies and gentlemen, the world champion. Mr. Gio Hammerbeck, who, who wheels the ride at Bubba's Exotic Motorsports uh, BMW M3. Thank you, Gio, so much, man. Awesome. We love you, brother. Thank yep, you so much. Thanks, Bub, Gio. Yep. We appreciate it. Bub, we're going to jump out of this segment here. Yeah. I'm very proud of this truck you and your team have put together and brought forth. It's on its way down to Arizona this afternoon. The drivers are here to take it back. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we, I hope you've enjoyed it as much as we've enjoyed bringing it to you. It's been a long build, Bub. You've had a lot of obstacles to overcome with the very custom things you've built, but it's a beautiful well, it's ride. it's one off again. too, man. You're not going to, literally, you are not going to go and find this truck anywhere else. You couldn't go to Ford and You're ask the only one like it in this the world. truck. Yes, that's correct. It's just that simple. This thing is gangster as it gets right here. I'm going to shoot really it today. Cool, really aggressive. So wait for our Instagram posts that are going to happen this afternoon, maybe 1231, something like that, yep. somewhere around one or so Eastern Standard Time. Stay tuned for these postings. We'll give you guys full inside shots of it. Maybe our producer will do a quick drone shot of it. We'll never know. Are you, uh, Mr. Producer, are you going to do a drone uh, footage of this going out today? Like Bob said, we'll never know. <laughs> we'll never know. Our sitting here with glasses on. <laughs> no, he's still, uh, he's still blind. Absorbing. Exactly. So, uh, until tomorrow. Keep on doing it, Bubba style. Ladies and gentlemen, make sure you step out some today to touch somebody's hey, life in a positive way. What's Feed you? somebody who's hungry. If they have uh, holes in the bottom of their shoes, buy them a pair of shoes, man. If somebody needs the door open just like Bub opened it for D, open the door. Until tomorrow, let's keep on doing it, Bubba style. Hey, Bub, let's put him in there and go for a ride. What do you think, man? We're both going to fit in here. Huh? Bub, you can't even get close to getting in there. Hey, 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 hey. We Why are you so worried about me tearing about? What's wrong with you? Maybe it's the wrong color. Could be the wrong color. Hey. Could be. Quit. Stop it. He's a mess, isn't he? What's wrong? Alright, I gotta finish this thing up. Alright.